Every single day, millions of young women primp, preen and pout in front of their phone cameras just so they can post an alluring photo of themselves online. Chances are you've seen them doing it. But why does it happen? Are these women just passive tools of the patriarchy, commodifying their own body to suit the needs of men? Well, it turns out that sexy selfies aren't what you might think. We've tracked tens of thousands of social media posts across 113 nations around the world to identify the features that the societies with more sexy selfies have in common. And we find that women are more likely to invest time and effort into posting sexy selfies online in places where economic inequality is rising and not in places where men hold more societal power and gender inequality is rife. Now that might sound confusing, but consider the context. Economic inequality increases competitiveness and status anxiety amongst all people in the social hierarchy. It makes us sensitive to where we sit in the social ladder and in particular, it makes us want to climb that ladder. Now that income inequality is a big predictor of sexy selfies, suggests that sexy selfies, just like other appearance enhancing behaviours, like using cosmetics or even brand name accessories, are actually markers of social climbing amongst women that track economic incentives in the local environment. Now, rightly or wrongly, in today's environment, looking sexy can generate large returns economically, socially, and personally. In an evolutionary sense, these kinds of behaviours are completely rational, even adaptive. Telling young women to stop posting sexy selfies is like asking them to forgo the pot of capital that youth bestows on them, even though that they know that its value diminishes in time. Now, this doesn't mean there are no risks. Cultivating your inner Kardashian can be the source of a range of psychological maladies. But to say that sexualization and people's focus on their appearance is merely about gender oppression discounts that in the female-female arms race, you need to outdo your competitors. So when a young woman adjusts her bikini provocatively with her phone in one hand, don't think of her as vacuous or as a victim. Think of her as a strategic player in a complex social and evolutionary game. She's out to maximise her lot in life, just like everybody. And that intensely competitive world that she's playing in, the one of thigh gaps, waist shapers, Botox, dermal fillers, diets, yoga lattes and fitspiration, that world has more to do with women's competition with other women than it does with men valuing women's looks over their other qualities.